सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज बेसिकली कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट सो गाइज हु ऑलरेडी हैव सम नॉलेज इन प्रोग्रामिंग दे ऑल नो वॉट आर कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट राइट एंड वॉट इज द पर्पज so whenever we want to make some decision based on some decision we want to take some take some action we can use control statement so control statement are basically controls the flow of our program controls the flow of a program right and in control statement we have statement three kind of statement in a program generally we can have three kind of statement um first one is uh sequential right second one is conditional statement and third one is iterative statement so sequential statement are those statement which executes every time means whenever you will run a program in a program if there are sequential statement they will execute whenever you will execute that program conditional statement are those statement uh, their execution basically depends on some condition i'll come to that execution depends on some condition then we have iterative repeats a task and execution also depends on some condition until a certain condition is true so in, in a program there can be three kind of a statement sequential statement conditional statement and iterative statement mamta uh, new instance and new instance are different yeah we will discuss later on when we will learn about object okay so don't worry keep this question noted and make sure you are saying new and new instance because you are writing the same thing in chat new instance new instance two type two time basically uh, sorry second one is uh, method uh, bracket ah, okay. is missed okay and and first one is what the new instance is operator or something else i am not sure there is nothing called as new instance which is basically we have is new keyword which is used for creation of a, of an object the okay. question should be like new versus new instance okay so okay. don't worry thank you this one new words oh sorry yeah new versus new instance new. Uh, method yeah. yeah correct okay yeah the question would be like this so no worries i'll discuss it uh, 
let me just introduce you with object because we don't really know what is an object right now so very soon we will know and we'll discuss that okay so whatever the question that i am not answering today keep that noted somewhere right and keep asking it between like whenever you think uh, i was saying that we will cover this particular question at that particular time all right so we we are discussing control statement so in a program there can be three type of statement sequential conditional and iterative sequential statement are those statement whose execution depends doesn't depend on any condition they will execute every time for example uh, let me let me just write so in this program i have written same instruction five time right so all these statement we can say are sequential because there is no condition on top of these and every time whenever we will run they will be executed let me just show you once or instead of comparing something let me just print 1 2 and 3 something like this let me just keep it till 3 so you can see at my console all the statement are getting execute right so we can say these all are sequential now let's move to conditional statement so for example um, you all have an idea like how to read an input from user right so what i'm doing is i'm asking for a number enter any number to read a number what we need is scanner so i am taking the scanner object and i am connecting this with keyboard so to connect a scanner object with keyboard what we can do is we can use system dot in right now what we will say is scanner dot next int okay and from this point we will have a number now what i am doing is simple i am writing if number modulus 2 is equals to equals to 0 then print this line right otherwise skip it okay so earlier this line was getting execute this one also was getting execute and this one also was getting execute but right now on top of this line what we have we have a condition which is basically saying if the number entered by user is divisible by 2 completely then print it otherwise just skip it getting my point guys i'm running this now and it is asking for a number uh, i'm taking 5 so you can see the number we were printing is not printed because the condition was false so we can say from this explanation what we have is this line is conditional all these are sequential this is also sequential statement anybody has any doubt in this line number 14 which has if number modulo 2 equals to equals to 0 is itself sequential if 
you want to uh, use string as an input reader, so what is the method we can use? Sorry? Here we are reading. Please come again. Here we are reading the integer number, right? So that's yes, yes, right. Integer method. So if mm -hmm. I want to read the string. Okay. So, so for this, you can that? just write a string. Let me say line sc dot next line we can use this right there are multiple ways i'm just showing you the only one from last couple of days so that you can use to it we will read about we will read about file reader file writer file input stream file output stream uh, in in file chapter so there you will learn two more ways to read data from user right and also when we will have discussion on uh, arrays so i'll show you take an input from command prompt like when we say for example this is the program i want to run from um, command prompt so what i can just do is java test let me just compile it again and I'm running it now. So it is asking for a number you can see on my screen on command prompt. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I'm saying four. So this time four modulo two was true because it was equal to zero and we are getting two and three as well. So whenever we are running our program from command line, we can pass something like this. Right. And we can read this as well. So I'll cover this concept in array chapter. All right. And who was asking for this string? Who was asking for this string concept? Like how to read a string? Is it, is it Gurpreet or someone else? No, it's Mamta. Okay. Uh, Mamta, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Okay, fine. So all you have a basic idea like what is a sequential statement and what is conditional statement, right? Please confirm so that we can move further. Yes, confirm. Okay, fine. Thank you, Baljeet. Okay, yeah. now what we have is we have one more kind of a statement, which is iterative statement. Like, for example, what I want to do is I want to print this hello 100 times or 1000 times. So we have two options. Like, let me just take it for three times. I'm taking four times. So I need to write this four times, this particular line. What if I have to write it thousand times, then I need to copy paste thousand times, right? That is not a correct way of doing this. So what we can do is we can introduce loop concept here. I'll explain how it works. Right. Then we use a, a loop, right? Yeah, right. Okay. I'm just showing you three kind of statement for now. I'll just walk you through all the if, else, all the available loops, switch, break, continue, all the things. Just giving an overview on, con on statements like sequential, conditional, and sequential, right? So, from this point, we can say line number 23 is iterative statement. Getting my point guys. So from this, what I'm saying is um, print it hundred times. So you can see we got hundred times hello. It, it might be confusing for you guys. So let me just keep it for 
four times so that you can just check it is printing exactly four times. Right? Got it? What would happen if people like uh I uh greater than four? Sorry, come again. Greater than four. Yes. I think that will uh, be error, right? Like this, right? Yes. Okay. So in this case, uh you can see, uh let me write just here. Zero is greater than four. No. What is your answer on this, Baljeet? Mm, error. No, it's not an error. It's it will be true or false. A oh, false. False. So whenever the condition is false, the iterated statement we have will not be executed. So Got it. we can say uh, from this point we will not get hello printed on console. Let me just run it. Okay. You got it. I got it. All right. All right, so let's move back to um, another question. Uh, let's say yes, we were, so we were trying to print the statement for four uh, four times we put report. If we put four uh, thousand, it's gonna print thousand times. Yes, exactly. Got it. Okay. It, it also depends like uh, from which point you are starting. For example, in my case, I am starting from zero, and if I say less than 100 so sorry 1000 so it will be printed for 0 1 2 till 999 4000 when i will be i will be 1000 basically the condition would be like this that means the condition is itself false but we got hello 1000 times at this point because we have started from zero getting my point yes all right any other question, Baljit? Uh, no. Feel free to ask. Okay. All right. Anybody has any doubt about sequential, conditional, and iterative statement? So this is iterative statement. Okay. Now we'll go back and we'll see what kind of a statement we have so for decision making basically what we have is first of all we have if then condition this condition must be evaluated must be evaluated evaluated into a boolean right so whatever condition we are writing must be evaluated into a boolean either true or false right and how we can use it we have just seen this here in in this example we are saying if a number user is entering is completely divisible by two then just print two otherwise do not print it okay now let me take it in, in a different way So for now, what we have is we are asking for a number from user, right? If the number is divisible by two, then we are going to print hello. Otherwise, just go ahead and print by. So you can see from this point, this statement, line number 17 is an is a sequential statement basically. Isn't it? Got 
राइस प्लीज कंफर्म कंडीशनल राइट सेवेंटीन सीक्वेंशियल सीक्वेंशियल राइट बिकॉज एक्सिक्यूशन ऑफ दिस लाइन डजेंट डिपेंड ऑन दिस कंडीशन राइट गेटिंग माई पॉइंट okay and if you talk about line number 15 this is the only line or statement which is conditional so execution of this line basically depends on this condition if this condition is true then execute this line if this is not then it will not be executed right let me just show you guys so it is asking for a number let me take four in this case the condition is true okay let me uh, do one thing as uh, it will be part of uh, our curriculum like how to debug a program right so when i when when i just say run as so what happens everything runs in the background but if we want like how the flow is going in our application so what we can do is we can use debugging so to use debugging what i did is i added a breakpoint here you can see at line 14 i'm just adding it again so you can do right click on that line and just say toggle break breakpoint so you will say a, a sing, single point here can you see guys yes okay yes. fine or you you can just double click like this it will be added and when you want you want to remove it you just go back and just double click again that will be removed right so we have added a breakpoint on line 14 so whenever we will run this program in debug mode what will happen the program will be like stopped at this point and will ask us not stop basically it will be pause and it will ask or expect us to resume it okay so let me just debug it as a java application right so whenever we will run it as a in debug mode so what will happen let me just enter 4 and you can see it is asking confirm prospective switch because the flow is at line 14 now so i'm just saying switch and you can see the control uh, here at left panel we we are on line test dot main line number 14 and itself you can see uh, the line is highlighted right and whatever the variables we have in this program are here at left hand side sorry right hand side we have args we have sc we have number which we have just entered and we got four in this line we haven't entered so we are getting blank you can see right okay now when we say number modulus 2 let me just inspect it so when i'm inspecting it what we are getting here is can you tell me guys what we are getting zero yes only pravina is an active listener in this group all are sleeping except pravina good work pravina keep it up so the condition basically is now zero is equals to equals to zero which is true let me inspect the entire uh, expression so you can see the condition is true so whenever the condition is true the corresponding statement will be executed so instead of running the entire program in one go let me just step over so we'll say f6 and we will execute this line right now we are at line 15 so because the condition was true 
we came here at line 15 if condition was false then we will we will just move on line 17 so from this it will print hello you can see on console we got hello and we have one more line basically to complete the program so i'm just resuming it by f8 and by will be printed and program will be terminated can you see it guys okay now let me run it mo one more time in debug mode this time i'm taking five now you can see the value in number is five here and five modulo two will be one you can see here i've just inspected it and when we say inspect the entire statement sorry i have clicked on watch which is basically similar to inspect but let me just inspect it again so when i'm saying number modulus 2 equals to equals to 0 what we are getting is false and when we say watch so what it does basically it adds that particular expression here in, in expression step basically to instead of doing inspect every time we will just keep an eye here on this window and we'll see the result what exactly happening right so in this case condition is false when i'm saying f6 so we will not go to line 14 we will just go straight to line 16. you got my point guys so what is the difference between watch and inspect okay good question let me just clarify give me one moment please so we as the condition was false right we just came at line 16 and after this program will be finished so you can see this right now the question was what is the difference between uh, watch and inspect so when we say inspect like for example this this code in inside a loop right and we want to check what are the different values coming into a number right so we we need to take up uh, inspect it again and again every time but when we have watched so we don't really need to uh, inspect it again and again we can just go and see the value here for example uh, i'm running it inside a loop so it will print the value of i along with this uh hello okay so if you want to check what the number is so basically we don't have number what we have is i right now let me just remove this one and here in watch instead of this what i have is i okay let me just run it in debug mode so you can see this expression is giving us true because the value in i right now is one sorry zero so zero modulus two will become zero which is true right and you can go here and you can just inspect like clicking on this right it is true now let me just move it forward we are getting hello zero on console it will go back again and then it will come up with a new value of i so i is right now will become one now this expression one modulus two which is equals to one one equals to equals to zero which is false so instead of inspecting we can straight forward keep an eye on this window and just from the keyboard we can just say f6 f6 right so it will save our time in debugging getting my point uh, yes Anju, uh, and we have another line is there add sorry? new expression there 
the yeah. watch there, there might be like uh, you you want to add this into your expression so you can just see what the result of this line okay so this line will be, will make hello for us hello one getting my point so let me just execute and you can see on console here at the bottom so we will get hello one okay then if you want to add any other conditions yeah, yeah. Add like uh, this is a small program but in in a bigger program we can have multiple expressions need to debug right yeah getting my point any yeah. doubts so far anybody yeah clear and uh, okay fine uh, okay so anybody has any doubt with this if syntax for this if is basically if and any condition what, so we can straight forward go and we can say true like this because at the end the condition is gonna evaluate it into true or false so we can just keep it true like we are doing any doubt okay what if we say false keep on the mic on mute thank you mamta okay so we can straight forward go and say true so what happens in this case every time the condition will be true okay and we can also say false which is doesn't really make sense and you will get you will get dead code you can see here because straight forward we can see the condition is false that means this line never will be executed getting my point guys baljit does it make sense yes awesome okay so whenever you have something like this so your compiler will notify you like in our case we can see it is saying dead code means this line will never be executed because every time the condition is false hard coded we have written false okay and one more thing for example anybody has learned about python in from the participants anybody has any idea about python yes anju i have some idea okay great so this is the loop basically we have starting from 0 to 10 let me keep it outside because we haven't discussed loop yet okay Oops. uh let me just go back and you just scan it so this is the program we have okay and along with this what we have is we don't have i so let me just remove it so this was the program we were working earlier whenever the number was divisible by 2 we were getting hello right otherwise we were not getting it so <clears throat> for example in this case the number i am going to enter is let's say 2 in that case what will be the output hello hello okay actually what? both statements will print right both are the same line for if okay. under the if condition okay and what it what if it is 3 oh sorry sorry if the Open and close bracket is not there. Only one line is uh, executed. After the second line will be sequential statement. 
but if it were python then mm. actually until then we i don't have any actual idea for this uh indentation kind of concept yeah, yeah. is there in python yeah. right indentation is basically there. when we say uh, like you can see we have same kind of um spacing here with this if so both statement will go with if but yeah. this is not the case in case of java so if we want to keep more than one statement with if statement or even in else or in a loop so what we should do is we should use braces like so both of these condition will be executed only when we have number divisible by 2 completely right for example in case of this we are getting hello by but if i am taking another case okay whenever run a program uh, in eclipse uh, keep an eye on this as well you can see this red color of a symbol can you see it guys on my screen where my arrow is yeah so basically this is showing our program is in running state or even you can read it here um java uh, test 2 java application c program files and bin java dot exe so basically when the program will close it will be grayed out or if i click on this it will grayed out and program will stop working so instead of stopping it from there uh, what i am doing is i am saying 3 and once i'll press enter program will complete and the red icon will be grayed out you can see right and here we can see we got a message terminated and we haven't got any output why so because the condition was false getting my point so whenever we want to keep more than one statement with a condition we should use curly braces what if we are not doing so so in that case like we have just ran with two we were getting hello by and if i am running it again uh, with two so you can see we are getting hello and by which we were getting earlier as well but for three we were not getting anything now i am saying three we are getting by why why this is happening let's understand this so basically this statement belongs to this if statement we can say this is conditional and this is sequential isn't it guys Baljit, you getting my point? Yeah, awesome. Danis, Divyans, is it clear? Cool. So whenever we have a sequential statement in our program, that means that particular statement will be executed every time, right? When we are saying three. so because this is a sequential statement it doesn't really matter whether this condition is true or false it will be executed All right now right guys okay now let's move to the next step uh, after this if what we have we have in some cases uh we have to take decision in both the cases like if some condition then to do for true means whenever this condition is true 
do this particular task if the condition is not true to do for false okay so when we say if a particular condition is satisfied execute this statement otherwise execute this statement but when we were writing if with the condition so what was happening we were not having a decision like if the condition is fail what then so we can made two way kind of choice like if true do this if false do that something like this make sense guys okay now let me take an example of this so we need to check basically if a number which is user going to enter is even or odd right so if the number is divisible by 2 completely we can say the number is even number is even else else number is odd okay i'm saying 15 which is an even num sorry odd number and we are getting number is 15 is odd let me take one space here and try any number 15 i am taking again and we are getting 15 is odd now what i am doing i am taking another number which is 12 which is an even number and we are getting 12 is even so when we have two different choice to make we can use if else if true then do this else do this make sense guys anybody has any doubt in this no one okay let me post this question in chat okay guys if anybody has any question please feel free to ask okay i'm moving to uh, further topic which is basically an advanced version of this so we have if condition then we have else right so this time we are going to discuss if else later if else if later and guys uh, give me a moment please okay so we have another condition to check and based on that we want to make some decision so that will go here basically right and we can have one more condition with else if so basically um there will be some space Here in between else and if, and one more condition would be there, and then finally we will have an else case like this. So whenever we have multiple conditions to check, and based on those conditions we want to take some decision, so we can go with if else later, right? Uh, for example, 
I think we have covered this earlier. Okay. Uh, in one program, as I am aware, I think uh, we have done this in past. User was entering percentage between zero to hundred, and based on that, we were doing. We were deciding his division like pass with. Honor pass with first division, pass with second division. Could you please confirm? Uh, we have done this in past or not? If yes, then I'll take one more example. Please confirm, guys. Okay, so let's do one thing. I'll give you an assignment for tomorrow. Yes, we have done this. Okay, so I have to change the assignment. One second, let me think what, what we can have similar to this. Okay. Allow me a moment. Let me think a scenario which can be fit here. Okay. So the question is user will enter salary of an employee. Right? And if salary is greater than sixty thousand tax would be ten percent if it is greater than eighty percent sorry eighty thousand then tax would be like 20% and if it is greater than 90,000 tax would be 25%. So and above 1 lakh it would be 30%. Okay. Below 60 there would be no tax for example let's assume it. So you need to calculate the tax based on the salary. Guys, could you try this one? Too much tax. <laughs> okay, let's reduce it by one, two, and here it is 2.5, let's say, and 3.0. Are you happy now, Gurpreet? I was just kidding. <laughs> All right, I got your point. Okay, so let's assume like whatever you want 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Okay, I will say keep it 10%, 20%, 25%, and 30%. Okay, so let's assume the salary is in dollar. Now it is fine, Gurpreet. I think you would you would be good now. Okay, so this is for you, and you need to do this with this if else ladder. Anybody has any doubt about the question that we uh, basically you need to submit? What is that, Anju? If the salary is greater than 80,000, is it 10 or 20? 10. 
sorry 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 that is 20 10 is for 60 greater than if greater than 60 then 10 if greater than 80 then 20 if greater than 90 then 25% and if it is greater than 1 lakh then it it would be 30% here yeah, that's clear okay all right guys now we have five more minutes to wrap up uh, if you have any doubt anybody any question please feel free to ask uh did you guys go to the dock um pravina mamta Somya, please confirm. Uh, you got, actually, you got, you got the document. We got.